Becky from Compton Stampers, and I am here to give you some tips and tricks and instructions for, for your sheltering tree online class this month. Either you're getting it because you purchased the class or you're a member of my Stamps in the Mail Club and you get this every month. So let's just start with card number one. Now, I actually like to call this stamp set my all season stamp set. You can make winter, spring, summer, and fall cards with it. Now, if you live in Michigan like me, it's very likely you might need all four of those cards in one day. You just never know around here. So cards are really easy. The set is so versatile. There's a million different things you can do with it. So just a couple of quick little instructions on some of these cards. Um, we're gonna start with our tree in chocolate chip. And this is our winter card. Now, when you stamp this, you wanna go you know, fairly close to the top there because you want to have enough room to make sure you get that banner underneath and some snow down here. So we're just using our, I call it the ground stamp, and we're going to ink that up in soft sky and just stamp it a few times. And I don't ink it each time because you want some, diff some depth in there and it'll give you different colors and just kind of fill in this bottom. You can see how that looks and we've got room now we'll stamp our words on our little strip here and what I like to do is um, you're gonna stamp them on here and then you're gonna cut the little banner since this is a half inch strip it doesn't work real well in the triple banner punch so the easiest way to do this is just take your little snips and eyeball about the middle of the end here and we're gonna just snip it in a little bit then come out here to the corner and snip to our cut there and come to the other side and snip to our cut there and there's our little banner end again not always perfect but remember it is ho it's homemade if it was perfect it would say hallmark on it and I don't think that's your name and then this will just go wherever your words are you'll adhere it down here and then trim this off so that you get the right size on there oh we need some snowflakes I just took the little snowflake stamp on this one and I just randomly stamped it all over here you know, stamp it a few times every time you ink it up just to get some different shades and just fill in that whole background. Um, and then we just added the little heart and that's all that's to it to card number one, our winter card. And here we have card number two. We're calling this our spring card. So we're gonna start out once again by stamping the tree. Um, I like to pick this up when I'm inking it on video because my table wobbles a little bit on me. Now, when you stamp this one, make sure you're coming over to the left edge here because we want the tree to come off the edge just so it's not so uniform and up towards the top. So we'll just go about right there, and stamp it, get some good pressure on there to get a good tree. There's our tree. And I love this big, big one here. I call it the tree top. Okay, it's going to fill in all those leaves at one time. So we're gonna ink that up good and we're gonna stamp it right over the tree there. It's gonna come off our paper, so make sure you got scrap paper underneath. There's our tree. And then since it's spring, we need some flowers in our tree. So I just took the little um, dotted one. These can be leaves, flowers, whatever you want. And we're gonna just put some of these throughout our tree just to put some, some bright pink flowers on our tree. I don't have any idea what kind of tree it is, but I thought it looked cute. Stamp your words. This is embossed with stylish stripes. You can use any embossing folder on there. Put your white and your pear pizzazz onto your close to cocoa, or close to cocoa, chocolate chip. Holy smokes, that was a blast from the past. Tie your ribbon around. Your card kits may have different ribbon. This is the white seam binding, which is now retired. So if I don't have enough of it, you're gonna get a few other kinds of, we'll get, should be able to get all white in everybody's packet. And that's it for our spring card number two. And it's summertime. Card number three, we're gonna call our summer card. Nothing screams summer more than a bicycle. So for this one, we have our white circle and we're gonna, this bike actually is in two pieces. I found it a little tricky to stamp. So you might wanna practice on scrap paper a couple of times first. So we're gonna stamp the main piece of the bike, and it's gonna stick a little bit on there, but so you have your wheels, your handlebar, and your seats. And then this other one, I'm using real red. You could make your bicycle whatever color you want, and you will see that it will match up with the wheels and the handlebar and the seat to put the color on our bicycle. We'll add a little grass. Okay, remember our same one that we did with snow is gonna be grass this time. So we'll just kind of put that down at the bottom. 
and there's also this little stamp that has grass pieces and I actually put in a few of those up around my bike. Actually, I think, try to put your bike up just a smidgen higher. You can see on my sample here, I'm up higher. And then I'm embossed with Chevron embossing folder. You can emboss with whichever one you want, your little strip for your words and put it together. And that's all there is for our summer card. Card number four is another summer card. This one I'm not even gonna stamp for you because it is really self-explanatory compared to what we've been doing already. Stamp your tree. And then I used two different colors green. I did pear pizzazz and garden green with the big treetop stamp and stamped them twice onto the white here and just made sure it was offset and that so they weren't right on top of each other so you get the two different shades. And then on my card base, I actually did the exact same thing. And there is a picture in your instructions that will show you how it's on there as well. And then just go ahead and put it together. And finally, card number five. This is our fall card, probably my favorite. I just kind of like the looks of this one. But you're gonna just go ahead and stamp your treetops, um, have them coming at different angles and different sizes up here. We're gonna just stamp one because I wanna show you a little trick for putting the leaves on your tree. So we'll just stamp, oh, that one's up a little bit too far. Ah, let's turn it over. Because we really just want the top part of our tree showing there. So there's one of the trees. Now you would go ahead and stamp all of your trees, but then use the little one, the same one we put the leaves with. Um, and we're gonna use crushed curry and Cajun craze to put our leaves. Instead of, we don't wanna use the big tree top on this one because it would just overlap and muddy this up way too much. So I'm gonna just put some yellow ones in here and you can stamp it a few times when you ink it up to get some different shades. And then go ahead and, yep, I didn't clean it in between. It doesn't really matter when we're going from light to dark stamp a few of those and that's it and you'll just do that with each tree put your banners you're going to either have a gold or a silver doily put it together and that's it so that's our winter spring summer and fall cards i hope you've enjoyed the sheltering tree online class this is a fun set it's been around for a while um, i hope you love it as much as i do and that you use it a bunch as always if you have any questions at all make sure to contact me i'm here to help you any way that i can so have a stamp happy day and i hope to see you in the mail again